Welcome back to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. Right now we're gonna take another look at Stranded Deep as episode 4. Basically this episode will cover everything that my first three didn't cover and clean up and answer many comment questions that I've received on my other three videos. I also would like you to thank you all for the overwhelming support and uh, thanks that you guys gave me for making these guides and tutorials. I really appreciate your support and appreciate the fact that you guys been really with me throughout this whole way so without further ado let's quickly skip to the guide i got several requests on my channel for people asking about how to build or make foundations bigger as you just seen there when you attach a second and uh, foundation it has a snap feature effect that allows you to instantly put your foundation anywhere next to the one that you have already placed down and voila now you have twice as much room to build your house on due to another overwhelming request on my youtube people were asking me to see how a bigger platform shack would look like almost wasting all resources on a single island i was able to construct a basically a two by two shack from my judgment, based on how many um, trees are there per island, you'll only be able to construct about 3 by 2 shack, the biggest, before you'll run out of resources. Uh, maybe if you get lucky, slightly bigger, but very unlikely. Now, for demonstration sake, I will try to remove the middle pillar to see if what would happen. Come on, buddy. Up and there you go. As you could see, the roof still stays there. But for you to put down the roof, you would need to have that pillar there first. Otherwise, the roof would not snap in. Now, let's see if it would be possible to restore the single pillar. If, for example, you would decide to remodel. And voila, you have now restored the pillar. So, knowing that, you can now clean up more of the pillars. To make this look much nicer. And there you go. You have now made yourself a nice little hut in which we could put a nice bed in. Please note that when you break pieces of your house down, you will lose all the materials. Currently the materials do not break down into anything at all and just disappear. Therefore, be wary of where you build your sh hat, uh, shack at. One of my other subscribers commented asking if it's possible to put a bed into the f on the foundation within your room. As you could see, it is not possible at all to put your bed down there whatsoever. You could put it right outside, maybe near it, but when you try to put it near it, I mean in it, it just falls through the floor and becomes red. So you kind of have to have a shack next to your bed for now. Perhaps it'll be a feature that'll be addressed in the near future patch. Another major question that I've noticed on my comment section on my videos is how to refill the campfire. To refill the campfire or fire pit or you know anything really you just have to hold a stick in your hand approach the campfire and click on it and as you could see I've placed the stick down. You could definitely grab more sticks and keep building up the fire until it's to the max and as you could see the fire is back full and now you can definitely relight it and cook on it once again another question that i had was what is the difference between holding something over it and hanging it on a rope and letting it cook 
from what I've noticed, the time is exactly the same whether, whether you hold it or if you hang it on the rope. So basically just purely for convenience sake and the fact that you can refill this fire and don't need to really build another one in another spot allows you, to, well, it bas that's the only really convenience that this provides you with is not standing there j like a jackass holding your food over fire. Now we're gonna take a look at another thing about coconuts that I forgot to mention in my previous episodes. When you find or get a coconut, you can hit it with your axe several times and then you clean it. Then you could hit it with it once again and it becomes drinkable coconut as I mentioned before. What I forgot to mention that after you drink the coconut and you drop it, that you can now hit it with an X one more time. If it once, once it stops rolling of course. Come on buddy. There we go. And then you split the coconut in two. You pick up each piece. Now let's see, I only have 3 health in. Eating one piece brings me up to 4 health. Well, And bringing the last one brings me up to 5. So you could basically survive right off the coconuts. I also addressed another major comment on my forums, people asking if wood and stone respawn in any way, if the trees regrow of wood respawns. Well, let's see. I've been alive for four days. I've cut this island down on day one. As you can see, three days later, game days, and nothing has grown back whatsoever. And nothing is planning to grow back, except for, of course, potatoes, ropes, and so on. So, all I have is this nice little pile of wood that is extremely limited and now you're forced to bring your wood for here back on a raft from other places. I found that, that it's extremely difficult on the server or in this game it, it, to transport wood on your little raft. As you can see here, the raft becomes uneven and becomes starts to sink. And if you try to like move it, the wood either pushes it or sinks the edge, basically not allowing, not allowing you to really bring things along with you. As you can see, it's very difficult to put the log and once you do, it starts to flip the raft. And when you try to climb back, it drops the raft altogether. And voila. But then again, there are issues with it as you go along. As you could see, everything kind of falls off your boat preventing you from transporting anything quite efficiently between islands. Perhaps the only way that I found that is efficient, going to the island, chopping things down, harvesting all you can, and then bringing it back home to your main island. One of the questions that I was asked also on forums but did not address, but addressing now, is can you stack foundations on water, like, you know, make a bigger boat? So we're gonna attempt that right now. It doesn't seem like the snap feature is working at all whatsoever. You can't seem to increase the size of your raft. Gonna try one more. Nope, as you can see, there's no way for you to stick the rafts together, but you could technically build a convenient bridge between islands, which would take you a very long and stressful amount of time to do. I also didn't mention in the last episode that yucca plants regrow and you could harvest for...
from them once a day, every day for as long as you want on the same island without have to move. Please note that when you build your campfire or spitfire or fire pit, doesn't matter which one, that the distance that you could see it from is very tiny. As you could see, here's the boat, there's the campfire, and now as I walk away slightly back, it disappears. Please note that I'm running on the highest ultra quality settings, 1920 by 1080 resolution. And it seems that you cannot use a campfire as a way of finding your own island, even if you set up them all around the island and burn them all at once. Your island would be completely invisible to you. Well, the campfires would be invisible to you a few meters out into the water. Thank you all for tuning to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode 4 on Stranded Deep. If you have discovered or would like to share or would like me to create a video on anything that you have found interesting within Stranded Deep, please let me know and I will see what I can do about that. Please click like, please click subscribe, please check out my other guides in regard to Stranded Deep if you have any questions or concerns or are trying to figure something out. And I'll please refer to my future guides that will come out as they keep adding things into this game. Thank you all for, for watching and have a wonderful night.